Good morning. It's actually been a while since I've done a video, and that's for a reason. Uh, I had this realization the other week, actually. Um, I forget what I was doing in particular, but I realized, man, I've had like so much time recently. What's with that? Why do I have so much time? <laughs> that kind of, I don't know, it should be an obvious question, but... Um, you know, one thing that, uh, there's an irony, there's an irony, many ironies in uh, me having this YouTube channel. We all know them, so let's say them out loud. Firstly, a lot of the stuff on paper that we pretend to talk about on this channel, right, is technology. I've done many technology tutorials and stuff like that. Uh, but at the same time, when, when you really get into any kind of topic, technology is no exception, uh, in, unless you are just brain dead, you have to think about the implications, like what what... What actually, what does this thing that we're interested in cause? Like, what are the, um, I don't know, the ramifications, what are the consequences of technology, right? And I think anyone who's sane and sits down and thinks about it is very worried about the, the effect of technology on their life, okay? On computing, like relying too much on computers and uh, computerization of stuff, uh, but also the unnatural effects that uh, things like uh, social media, things like this have on us, right? Um, that's something very worrisome. So ironically enough, of course, although we talk about computers and stuff, it's very important to be aware of how they affect you. And I think a person who knows, I mean, it, it, it's like, I, I don't know, I want to say, wasn't it like uh, Mark Zuckerberg doesn't let his kids use Facebook and stuff like that. It's the same consequence. When you really know what these things do to people, you are not going to let the, you know, you're not going to want to really participate in them, right? Um, and at the same token, you know, obviously I have... Um, you know, I have a channel where I do stuff and I talk about, I guess, lifestyle stuff that are related to technology and, and things. Um, but at the same time, I militantly, I, I have a habit and you all know it. Um, uh, you know, I've been doing this for a couple of years and sometimes I'll do a string of videos and then I will take a hiatus of several months. And I, I don't feel like I need to notify you about that. I will just not do videos. And I, I want to I bring that up. Just let's talk about that explicitly. Why do I do that? Uh, it's not something I plan to do. It's just something that naturally happens because if you are practicing and preaching what I'm doing, okay, if I'm saying on one side, you need to abstain from technology, and then on the other side, I'm saying, hey guys, watch tomorrow's video, like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, watch to the end of the video and you'll you know, be enrolled in all our sweepstakes, man. Hey, if you find the secret message in today's video, post a comment and if you're the first one I'll pin you if I were doing that like it would be so hypocritical like I, I really don't like my goal here is really not for people to watch my channel but for people to stop doing this altogether like to, to not need uh, not need the uh, fake friends of YouTube that that's kind of what I'm getting at and you'll be in a better position like that um, but at the same time, I want people to realize like, oh, a lot of times, especially when it's news things. Now, I've never done like news responses or whatever, because I think they're very stupid. Um, well, I mean, some of them are good because they're instructive. I'm not like, uh, you know, there are lots of people who do good uh, videos like Mental Outlaw on kind of news stuff. But it's more like it's more targeted as what are the principles behind the news kind of stuff. And, that, and that's fine. That's fine for people to, to understand what's going on. But even then, I don't even do those. And I think the reason is once you kind of understand what's going on, you don't need to hear the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, that, that's my belief. So I don't feel the need to do it. But also, more importantly, like, I don't need to make a statement on everything. And sometimes, frankly, me not saying anything, that should constitute a statement. Okay, when I every day I don't do a video, I am communicating something to you. That, that's what I want people to realize. Like if I take several months off, that is me saying, uh, I'm sorry, this isn't worth, I might have this like, um, this, this, this ability to speak to thousands of people, but that is not, I mean, most of you guys, I mean, the vast majority of you guys, I will never know. I don't really, I don't mean to be mean, but I don't really care to know you. I think you understand that, like that, this is just how uh, adults work, right? This is how real life works. And, um, I, I think it's important not to do videos just to be able to communicate to people like this is not this is not life like the, the reality is um, obviously in the same way that a lot of technology the way people use it is very unnatural uh, social media like YouTube this is like the pinnacle of weirdness like it's just the weirdest thing you could possibly do um, and I know people like they 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 really glom on to figures they see on the internet and it's one of the most healthy th unhealthy things ever ever it just has always made me want to puke. So the idea of me being one of these figures is just like revolting. Like the idea that there are people who like emotionally need my videos who don't know me, who literally do not know me. That is just a weird parasocial relationship um, that I, if anything, I think people need to get out of. So uh, I'm constantly, I'm occasionally using the time, the time that I want to be lazy and not do videos as a weaning of people who, you know, really shouldn't be addicted to this kind of stuff, right? Um, 
so that that's why I do what I do. And so, you know, my, my the thing that I realized a couple weeks ago is that I've gotten to the point really I I don't use the internet recreationally at all anymore. Um, I, I mean, occasionally, maybe once a week, I'll, I'll watch some YouTube videos. But I mean, it used to be when I was younger, I, I'd just be on the internet all the time. I'd pull my computer up all the time. Now I do open up my computer and do little work and stuff like that without a browser, without anything. But like, um, even that is like I've cut down significantly. And that I mean, it would be it would be bad if I were doing anything else. You know what I mean? If I'm telling you what I think to be the a absolute truth that it, you are best if you are cutting this stuff out of your life, uh, it would be hypocritical for me not to do that, and that's exactly what I do, right? Um, so I, I think one thing that people have in mind, I I want to say there was some video I did like maybe last month or the month month before where you know people were I don't even remember which one it was, but um, uh, it was something something else about like divesting from the internet. But I think that uh, what you got to realize is. The, yes, there is a sense in which on the internet you can have a much bigger platform, okay? Like, oh, I can talk to these people. Oh, wow, in numbers, oh, I have a much bigger influence on YouTube than maybe I do in real life. Actually, I don't even know if that's true, to be honest. Like, if you really um, if you really think things tr through. Uh, but it is much like the, the communities, the fake society on the internet, it is so fleeting. It is so easy to control by the people who control the internet. You know what I mean? Um, and it is not really, it's not really social. It's not really anything. I, 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 I guess as I've gotten older and older, I've had the idea that like, and this is very true, you might hate it, but the relationships you have in real life are more important than that. Even if you won't, even, even if you don't have very many at this point and you are a fool, like when you are on your deathbed, you're not going to be like, man, I wish I had more YouTube subscribers. You're just not going to be thinking that. You're going to be saying, wow, I was an idiot. I was an idiot for not spending more time in real life because there is a difference. And frankly, you might feel like you're not a super powerful person in real life, but you have a lot more power there than you do on the internet, even if you're talking to a bunch of fake uh, internet friends with anime a avatars that make you, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing on the internet. I would just invest, uh, you know what I'm going to say. Why, why even, why? I don't even, I didn't even need to put this video up because you, you should already know what I'm going to say, but I guess I'll do it. I might as well throw some, some stuff out for people who don't get it yet. So, um, today's lesson, same lesson as usual. Stop using the internet. <laughs> That's all. <laughs>